Okay guys, here's the video you've been waiting on. Uh, for this demonstration I'm going to be using my unit in Madison here. And so a two-pill amplifier up here, which was actually the power amplifier section of an old ICOM 701. Uh, I was just salvaged from a junk radio and uh, added this stuff to make it into a external amplifier. Alright, and so the test setup is we got a little test harness here and then that We'll hook into the audio jack on the spectrum analyzer here, or communications monitor, I should say. And then we also have uh, sampling of the signal here that feeds into the oscilloscope. So uh, I guess we'll start just by showing you some settings, how the radio should be set up for some of you that may not know or might be kind of newer to this. Uh, some of you should know this stuff already. But uh, we'll show you what a properly set up radio should look like and the effect that having the modulation too high or not driving an amplifier can have on the power reading and whether or not that actually makes any usable difference on the other end. The original debate was that people uh, post these false claims on their amplifiers claiming, oh, I'm going to get 175 watts out of one pill. Well, that ain't quite the case. It's just a meter interpreting it wrong. Reading your harmonics on other frequencies as power on your same frequency or I guess a better way to word it is power meters like that just read your total RF output so what you're seeing may not be what's actually going out on your frequency. Uh, half that power that you're seeing could be going all across the band and you'll see that here in a minute. Okay so let's get started so we're going to key this up and you can see right there in the bottom left, we're doing just under 4 watts. Uh, that's also going through this meter. You see on the scale there, about 4 watts. Uh, this, the uh, communications analyzer here just samples the signal off of a attenuator that I got built in to the MFJ up here. So uh, it just takes a sampling of the signal from that, feeds it in here. Uh, this meter is going to be a little more accurate, but they're still pretty darn close. The reason I got them both hooked up is so that you can kind of see for a lot of you people out there that obviously aren't going to have a piece of equipment like this sitting around. Uh, you got just your regular CB meter, your dozy maybe, or some of you might have bird meters. You can get a comparison on what you might be seeing on your meter versus real peak watts. And I'll just show you real quick here on the analyzer. Let me turn the radio off for a second. Uh, down here, I can switch between peak and sample or average you call it the sample reading is going to be more closer to what you guys would see on a, a regular uh, inline CB power meter that's not active that doesn't have any circuitry to measure the power and then peak is going to be your actual peak to peak power so I'm going to leave this one on peak to peak occasionally I'll switch it over to sample and then just show you the kind of the comparison uh, obviously for a dead key it's not going to matter what it's set to Okay, so here's the dead key. There's what your carrier looks like up on the scope. I got it set to measure the audio frequency right now. Uh, so I'm going to inject a 1 kilohertz tone into the radio. You can see here we got it set for, let me turn this down a little bit. So we're at 100% modulation there, just a hair over. And about 18 and a half watts peak power. Now you see on here that's showing it looks to be about 8 watts. Now if I switch this over to the average power, you see it, it's pretty close, right around 7.8 or so. So that kind of agrees with that meter, right? So we'll go back to our peak power. Uh, if your radio set up properly, 100% modulation, your peak power should be about 4 times what your dead key is. Pretty close to that. And this is what it should look like on the oscilloscope. Nice rounded off waveform not flat topped or anything and then I'll show you what it looks like on a spectrum analyzer so here's the spectrum analyzer and I, the way I have this scale set up right now is channel 1 would be over here channel 40 channel 19 so you can see the whole CB spectrum so I'm at 100% modulation right now and that's what you're seeing now I'll disconnect it modulation and there's just your carrier okay switch back over to this view no modulation right now 
it's not any connector carrier that's what it should look like uh, now if you're one of these people that took the limiter out of your radio or maybe uh, the shop that you brought your radio to didn't set it up quite right and you're putting out too much modulation uh, I forgot to mention for the purpose of this test I did take the limiter out of this radio just to show uh, my example so right now I got the the mic gain about halfway but say I decide to crank it up and that's what we're looking at now 126 percent modulation you can see my power raised a little bit we'll go back to 100 okay I'm going from about 17 watts up to 18 and a half it says I gained about a watt uh, that difference will be even more noticeable um, with once uh, I got the amplifier turned on this is just going through the radio right now so now we'll see what it looks like on the spectrum analyzer you know see here I'm bleeding over all these other channels these are all other channels that would be bleeding over right now pissing off other people on the band right and if you look at so up here is your fundamental if I turn this back down you see that didn't really grow at all it stayed the same the only thing that's changing is the power on the other channels. Alright. But as you can see, the power on your fundamental frequency didn't change at all. And just to show you guys what that looks like on the oscilloscope. So there is, uh, well, let me let me see. So there's 100% modulation. And now if I crank up the mic gain, that's what it looks like. That's ugly. It's horrible. It's flat topping. Uh, and if I was to actually put this on where you can see the harmonics on the spectrum analyzer, those would look horrible too, alright? So now we're going to shut that off and we'll turn on power to the amplifier. And actually, uh, before I do that, I'm going to turn down the carrier on the radio a little bit here. i got to dial a watt on it. So I'm going to dial this thing down to about 2 watts. That's what this particular amplifier seems to drive good with about a 2 watt dead key all right and um, then up here we'll reduce that scale a little bit for when the amplifiers turn on it'll get bigger all right and I'll turn the power on and key it up okay so you can see right there that's about 40 watts I'm actually going to turn it down a little bit We'll set it about 30. Alright. There it's maxing out. We're going to high power scale. Okay, 30 watts. Alright. That's what it looks like on there. Now this should go up to about these divisions. It should double in voltage. And remember that should go up by at least about a 4x. Right around a 4x. If it's tuned properly, okay? So there you go back off the mic gain a little bit so 100% modulation and we're looking at 137 watts peak and now in here you're seeing about 80 watts that's your average power if I put it on here to average okay we're right around 70 and you can see it still looks clean there on the scope now if I crank up my mic gain crank it up on here so now for reference we're at 140 watts okay I'm gonna crank up the mic gain let me see if I can get this to stabilize for you. I'm going to crank up the mic gain. See it flat top, but it didn't grow at all. It didn't grow in amplitude, just flat top. But there now it says I'm doing 160 watts versus 140. Alright, let's see what that looks like on the spectrum analyzer. Look at that. All I'm doing is trash in the band. So, there's your example, folks. Uh, that's what I mean when I say these guys that rate these amps for wattages that they can't really do. Any questions, post it in the comments. I'll be happy to re reply.